Gentlemen, we have called you together to inform you that we are going to overthrow the United States government. You still think that jet fuel brought down the World Trade Center? Does anybody else see a problem here? If the government has nothing to hide, why are they so afraid to answer a few questions? This story does not add up. Slap dog af, jeg er ikke så ikke sådan en bankrøver, vel? Vores største bankrøver, det er da dem, der sidder bag ved skrænken. Det burde du da vide, Max. Du er jo paranoid. Nej, det er jeg ikke. Man er paranoid, hvis man ser spøgelser. Jeg bygger mine holdninger på benhårde fag. Ligesom der med svineinfluenzaen, hvor jeg ikke måtte blive vaccineret, fordi det var Rockefeller-familien, der stod bag det nye serum. Jeg lå syg hele julen, mor. Jeg vil bare gerne lære No, when we have people like John Corzine, the big White House financial advisor, the former head of Goldman Sachs, stealing billions of dollars and saying, I don't know where it went and I'm not going to discuss it, and Congress is like, mm, okay, well, thank you. We've got a serious issue. So I thought we would talk to, well, uh, the evil spirit that possesses John Corzine, Don Corleone, John Corzine directly teleporting in from Hades, uh, orbiting uh, a, a deep space uh, galactic nebula. And uh, he joins us uh, right now, top hat and all, to explain to us um, why he's doing what he's doing. Well, it's good to talk to you. I know you're uh, proud of all of your looting and creative uh, destruction, Mr. Corzine. It's good to have you uh, here, Mr. Beelzebub or Corzine. Uh, Bill's Bubba knows the proper name. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's incredible! All the people are going to throw out of their houses, and we've almost shut down all the industry. And only if you're a globalist insider, we will be able to even operate and do business. And we're setting the precedent to steal everything. Oh, oh, I didn't realize the interview was live right now, but it doesn't matter if I got caught saying that. Just like the ATF got caught shipping all those guns into Mexico and their own memos saying they blame it on the Second Amendment. <laughs> you, nothing will be done to the Attorney General, and nothing will be done to me because we've got criminals in place everywhere. And it doesn't matter if you're stolen millions out of your private accounts from MF Global. It's right under someone's nose. No one can stop us. Oh, but I'm a good person that cares. I don't know where the money is. I'm sorry. You wanted to. You wanted to interview me. I'm. I'm here now to be talked to by you. Wow. You give a new definition to the uh, name fast talker. Look, nobody's buying you in Congress, uh, saying that you have no idea what went on and that you have no idea where the money went. Uh, so why don't you just go ahead and tell us where the money is? Oh, I spoke before the Honorable Congress, and I have $35,000 plate dinners with the Honorable Obama. And uh, just like we got away with it, as some people would say, but of course we did, we're doing God's work, as one of my counterparts said, uh, the head of Goldman Sachs. Uh, just like we were able to take 16 plus trillion and, uh, and, and transfer it to our foreign subsidiaries, uh, we're going to be able to do this as well. You think. One billion, two billion, three billion of people's private segregated accounts of a company we took over is a big deal. It's nothing. Because, see, I am distinguished. I'm wearing a top hat, I'm wearing a suit, and I have a beard, a grandfatherly beard. And so everything is fine. Okay, we understand you're trendy and, and, and super stylish and, and hang out with all the uh, establishment criminals. But, but, but seriously, um, in fact, I've written down some questions here I want to ask you. How could you, in one year, take a profitable company like MF Global and run it into the ground and steal people's private, um, sequestered or uh, 
segregated accounts under federal law uh, is a crime. How, how could you do that? Please answer the question. How could I do the great things I did at MF Global in a year? You see, you're thinking about actually building up a company. We're talking about command destruction. We're order out of chaos. We're talking about using MF Global as a globalist mafia instrument to go buy up legitimate companies with people's private bank accounts in them and then take that money and give it to our shareholders and people that are on the advisory board like Bill Clinton. That's how this works. You see, with Europe and the tens of trillions being transferred uh, by uh, the Federal Reserve private consortium uh, that Goldman Sachs and I headed up as part of, Europe is not ever meant to pay back the tens of trillions of U.S. taxpayer back money. They're meant to go deeper into debt through debt bondage. We create the derivatives fraud, and then the rest of the world and our operatives who run their countries sign everyone on to our debt. So uh, I didn't run the company into the ground. You don't ask a bank robber who successfully robs a bank, you know, why did he fail? He succeeded. Just because there's some dead guards and a million dollars cash missing, that's the proof of the success. We're not screwing anything up. When Congress asks us, how do we learn from this and not do this again, we're learning how much you'll put up with. And the whore media that we control, oh, I'm sorry, I've got trending grandfatherly, the loving, reasonable media bought and paid for by our people. <laughs> and the Pentagon's under our control. We're slaughtering people worldwide. We hate everybody. You think we're just going to stop what we've done here in the U.S.? We like a million dead Iraqis and stolen oil and trillions of dollars of new bid contracts for savage killers. And you naive people will never figure it out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being trendy right now. Oh, I don't know where the money meant. Isn't that reasonable? I was the CEO, and everybody knows we took the private accounts. It's illegal, but never mind about that. Uh, you heard the Attorney General yesterday in testimony. They said, we have your memos where you perjured yourself about Fast and Furious, and he said, we didn't intend to lie. <laughs> We've got to get your guns before we really steal everything you've got. I'm sorry, little reporter. What else was it you had to say? You and your info warriors may be somewhat awake, but the rest of the public's brain damage from toxic fluoride and Ritalin and Prozac and guzzling alcohol and watching brainwashing television. And there's nothing they won't put up with. They love being slaves. Because I'm just a nice little grandfather person. Was there something else you wanted to sit on Santa's knee and ask for, Mr. Jones? Okay, well, uh, people notice that all over the third world, Latin America, Asia, Africa, Middle East, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, all over the world, every country you take down either has Goldman Sachs people in place, the ministers, the presidents, all of them, uh, the heads of the treasury systems, the finance ministers, are all Goldman Sachs. And we notice that then the solution you offer is only gives your own system more power when you sold the fraudulent derivatives. Uh, I mean, this is incredibly obvious that you guys are economic terrorists. I mean, who do you work for? What's going, what's going on here? What's the end game? Is there any end to the, how you are gang raping the world population. And, and I mean, I know your whore media worships you, but I mean, is there any end to their groveling to your criminal activity as they destroy their own future? How does Goldman Sachs help the world economy, you're asking? How do we, how do we get control of every nation and then implode them? That's called an economic takeover. And for decades, we get our people in to the prime ministerships, the presidencies, uh, into the uh, uh, Department of uh, Treasuries or Exchequer in Greece, Iceland, you name it, Australia, Germany, France, uh, Italy, they're all Goldman Sachs alumni. You can have upwards of 70 people at a Bilderberg meeting of 130 that are Goldman Sachs. And we're, we're kind of the Darth Vader to Emperor Palpatine that's J.P. Morgan Chase. And, then, and we go out and, and, and we, we, we do the thieving and the stealing and the imploding. And, and, and we call it free market when we create trillions of fake derivatives and sell them to people and then have government bail it out with taxpayer money. That's called conservative. But of course, it doesn't matter if it's Bill Clinton who helped get rid of the laws that allowed us to do this or George W. Bush or, or Obama. We buy them all. And while the public's debating liberal conservative, we are taking over everything. And that's the proof in survival of the fittest. Social Darwinism, we have the power. We were able to do this, so it's our right to do it. Kind of like Hitler said, might makes right. If I can dominate you and take you over and you don't stop me, well then you deserve what's happened to you. Do you understand that, little worms? American people, people of the world, you're not going to do anything to stop us because I am a nice old man. I'm trendy. Okay, well, uh, you certainly are craven and craved and uh, in a mesmerized, brain-damaged population serving you. I can, I can understand how you've become quite delusional like Caligula or some of the Aztec kings. Uh, Gary Gensler was your main minion at, at Goldman Sachs, and he headed up the CFTC. He's been missing now for a month, and uh, he, he was the guy supposedly regulating you. I mean, this is pretty obvious what you're doing. Uh, what's going on with you and Gary Gensler? What's going on? Uh, with you, I mean, uh, do you guys run everything? I mean, could you barbecue children on the White House lawn? Could you, 
Could you uh, abuse elephants at Central Park? I mean, is there nothing you couldn't do? Is there anything you won't do to us? Land of the coward, home of the slave. Oh, great satanic goblin leader. Gary Gensler. Gary Gensler. Maybe I don't like to be asked about this. Maybe I should read a 40 page. And that's what it is. I've got a copy of it over here. Maybe I should read a 40 plus page opening statement so all the networks tune out about growing up as a child and how I'm just like everybody else. I'm just like everybody else, so you'll let down your guard. Gary Gensler was my right hand man at Goldman Sachs selling county cities and private individuals and pensioners fraudulent paper that we knew was totally worthless, like in our Timberwolf emails where we called our customers dumb effers and, you know, said we're selling them. SH, you know what, IT. But this is a family show. I know I better not say the full thing. Uh, Gary, the head of the CFTC, has disappeared the last few weeks. No one knows where he is, but the media's bought and paid for. No one will even point that out. Madoff was one of our people. He's a great guy. People got a little too much onto him. We've got to throw somebody to the wolves occasionally. And Gensler, my right hand man from Goldman Sachs, runs the CFTC and allowed me to do all this. It's, 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 it's really been quite, quite fabulous uh, in the final equation. Well, this is our uh, interview with the demon that uh, possesses John Corzine. Uh, he, his, his voice is sped up because something about the machinery uh, Chekhov was explaining to me causes a time distortion, so it's sped up. Uh, I'm not quite sure I understand that, but it's something to do with Einstein and uh, uh, what's happening there. Uh, but, but I wanted to show you, you know, see this, um, some funny money. We, we bought this at a store today for, I think, like $3.00. And uh, some of these are $1 bills, some are five, some are tens, some are 20, some are hundreds, uh, some are uh, thousands. But, you know, three bucks, you, we basically got a couple hundred thousand dollars here. And it says the play money of America, but it actually has as real the same intrinsic value as this that says Federal Reserve Note. And, and you, you can see where it says Federal Reserve Note uh, here up in the uh, top left-hand corner, if we can zoom in on that. You know, until uh, the Federal Reserve took over in 1913, it said, it said uh, United States Note, and it was backed by silver and gold, and later they phased that out. Kennedy tried to reissue uh, Lincoln greenbacks that had been issued. Of course, they assassinated him when he'd issued $5 billion. He was going to issue $40-plus billion. But, 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 but what is the difference between this funny money here that isn't legal tender and the fraud you issue because you weren't content to be able to control the issuance of this and buy up the world with it you, you created tens of trillions well actually thousand plus trillion uh total of uh, of fake derivatives and, and, and of course i know in zimbabwe they don't have the world's biggest note from hyperinflation 100 trillion dollars and i'll show the viewers a document cam shot of that so what's the difference between this stuff i bought at the local uh costume shop when I was getting the beard you're wearing, and uh, this Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, $100 trillion, and uh, this $100 bill that basically is, has about the same value as a $5 bill in the 1960s, or this deception dollar put out, you know, showing the fiat currency and exposing the new world order. What is the difference between all of these? Can you give me some rational uh, answer in closing to how you guys have taking over government with all this fraudulent paper and just because you wear suits and top hats, it's supposedly all okay. Uh, Our master plan is to destroy civilization and to have a post-industrial neo-feudalistic surf system that Maurice Strong, the UN, Ted Turner, Prince Philip, Prince Charles and others have openly called for. We're going to make you pay a lot more for a lot less. We're going to shut down most of your infrastructure. We're going to shut down your farms if there's any dust. Hay is listed as a pollutant, but all of our friends that were given total waivers. We are taking over everything in a cunning white-collar fraud with armies of control freaks, socialists that are ignorant as the day as long and really believe they're going to get crumbs from our table, even as they witness us destroying the society. And we control the right-wingers as well, who will endorse any amount of blank checks to us and bailouts, calling it free market. We've got the whole thing figured out. That's the end game. World government, openly run by the bankers, openly run by Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and the Bank of England. That's what we've got set up. Even now, we criticize you for decades and there be a world collapse engineered by megabanks and derivatives offering a world government new corporate global bond, which is now being set up in Europe and will spread worldwide. We'll hold you financially captive and terrorize the hell out of you, and every solution we give you only brings you deeper into our bondage. And the media and CIA operatives like Anderson Cooper will sit up there and sell out their families and everyone else, and Fox News will play along and all of them until we've got total control and you're totally bankrupt so the social workers can take control of your life and so you're all dependent on us. That's the end game. That's where it is. Trampling and being trampled on. A society that gets more cruel, more wicked, 
beyond 1984. This is a world of psychopaths and control freaks and sickos and those that love ugliness and total crushing of innocence and destruction of beauty and genetic engineering and nuclear waste dumps. In the old years, people worried about radiation. We just have scientists raise the level and say it's safe. We're so psychopathic ourselves we live in higher radiation and don't care. 